Hello everybody and welcome to an educational video about asexuality. Um, I don't currently have a tripod so my camera is on top of a table and a stack of books and it's still a little short so if it looks like I'm leaning forward I am trying to get in the shot. Anyway, topic of the video. I don't know if I'd exactly say I'm an expert on the topic but I'm probably as close as you're gonna get. The first reason for that is that I'm asexual. The second reason is that I understand different aspects of the sexuality. And the third reason is that before I graduated high school, I was GSA president. It's a very prestigious role. There's a whole no one running against me. But I did lead some informative meetings, so I kind of know how to talk about these things. I also made a PowerPoint on asexuality on Tumblr that got 22,372 notes. If that doesn't make me an expert, I don't know what does. The last reason is that you're watching this video. So we all know heterosexual attraction to different genders, and homosexual attraction to the same gender, and then there's bisexual and pansexual attraction to multiple genders. Those can all go under the category of allosexual. Allosexual is the opposite of asexual, which brings us to asexual. People who are asexual are not attracted to anyone regardless of gender. Now this is the basic definition, but people make a lot of assumptions from here that I'd like to clear up. The first thing we should cover is romantic orientation. It's basically the same thing as sexual orientation, like same prefixes and stuff, except it applies to whether you want to like date the person as opposed to if you want to bang the person. So sometimes asexual people can be aromantic, which means they're not really interested in dating and stuff, but they could also be like heteromantic, homoromantic, what have you. So they could be a romantically attracted to a person, but not sexually attracted to a person. Oh, I know, I know, you're gonna have to unlearn everything romantic comedies have taught you. Take your time. So this is where we get into the tricky stuff. It shouldn't be tricky, but apparently it is. Just because an asexual person doesn't see another person and think, Dear Lord, I would ride that pony all the way around the corral, does not mean that they can't have sex. An important thing to understand about all sexualities is that it's a spectrum. There are asexual people who are sex repulsed, there are asexual people who like having sex, there are asexual people who couldn't care either way, and there's everything in between. And all of those are perfectly okay. And whether or not an asexual person is sexually or romantically attracted to someone, they can still appreciate aesthetics and say that person is attractive. Gray asexual is a term for someone who's asexual, but they're like closer to the allosexual side of the spectrum. Like, maybe they experience a little bit of sexual attraction. Labels are really up to you when you're identifying yourself. So also demisexuality, which is not being sexually attracted to someone until after you form a strong emotional bond with that person. This is a real sexuality, do not even fight me on this. Other things about asexuality that are good to know, um, asexual people can be called aces. Gray asexual people can be called graces. Romantic asexual people can be called ace of hearts. And aromantic asexual people can be called ace of spades. I've like heard this is a thing, but I've never actually seen it in practice. Sometimes asexual people show their pride by wearing a black ring on the middle finger of their right hand. I think gray asexual people can do the, like the same thing with a gray ring. I'm not entirely sure. I don't have a ring. There should be a starter kit or something. There's an asexual community forum called Avon, and in one of the forums people were talking about what's better than sex, and, and then everyone agreed that cake is better than sex. So now it's like this joke that like asexual people love cake. And some asexuals still like joke about this, and they kind of use cake as like a mascot, and other asexuals get like irrationally angry when you bring it up. Like in my PowerPoint I mentioned cake, and someone who were blogged it was just going on a rant. Like I don't know, maybe it just got annoying. Here's one thing that might blow your mind, asexual people can masturbate. I know, wow. So if you're Dan Savage or someone else who thinks that masturbation negates asexuality, shove a cactus up your ass. But seriously, after my PowerPoint started getting really popular on Tumblr, I was getting all these messages, and a lot of the people, not even like on Anon, were like sending me messages being like, oh, thank you for adding that part about masturbation, because I'm not sexually attracted to anyone, but I masturbate regularly, and I was really confused, and I was like, Okay, thank you, thank you for being so open. I'm glad we have this connection here. I made a list of things you shouldn't say to asexuals. Truck's going by. I made a list of things you shouldn't say to asexuals. I'm gonna see if I can read it off my computer before the battery dies. So if you meet someone who tells you that they identify as asexual, do not say any of the following to them. Ask if they reproduce by budding. Compare them to a plant. Express your condolences for the lack, their lack of sex life. Insist that they should really try sex because it's so great. Suggest that they just haven't had good enough sex suggest that you can supply them with good enough sex. Ask if they are attracted to animals or inanimate objects. Ask if about their plans to start a family. Tell them they just haven't met the right person then. Question them about any relationships they may have had. Tell them that they mean abstinent or celibate. Suggest that they are just a late bloomer. Suggest that they can't love. Suggest that there's something wrong with them. Suggest you could fix them. 
I really shouldn't have to tell anyone that corrective rape should not be a thing, but corrective rape should not be a thing. Also, I didn't put this on the list, but don't tell an asexual person that they're not oppressed. And finally, do not accuse them of being a straight person who invented a fake sexuality to try to weasel their way into the queer community. Because oppressed groups are the new fun place to hang out, I guess. Seven. Seven of these have been said to me. So if you're feeling confused because everyone's getting crushes and having sex, or at least wanting to have sex, and you're not, don't worry, because you might be asexual. I mean, maybe you are just a late bloomer or haven't found the right one yet, as annoying as it is when people say that. But if you feel you're asexual, don't be afraid to say so. Sexuality is fluid, and if someone tries to argue with you about what you are, just drop them, because you don't need that. Or show them this video. Okay, I think that's everything. Consider yourself educated or something. Peace. Just because an asexual person doesn't see another person and think, I would ride that horse into battle. I would bang them like a screen door in a hurricane. Call me the NSA, because I'm about to tap that. I would like to have sex with that individual. Sometimes... trucks... Sometimes asexual people... Except it applies to whether you want to, like, date the person as opposed to if you want to bang the person. So asexual people can be romantically attracted to someone, like they... Except it applies to what they want. The first thing we should cover is romantic orientation.